quick video today you ever um <clears throat> you ever want to make it easier way to open your garage when you're on your bike when you're still moving whatever i mean there's a bunch of different ways to do it a few places sell uh garage door openers integrated into the bike cost you a couple hundred a couple places sell aftermarket ones that you still got to do some work on and that'll cost you upwards from 160 170 180 and basically they're doing the same thing I'm about to show you here. Now, if you already have an existing garage door opener laying around, you can get these for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, a momentary switch. I have a few laying around like these. I mean, it depends what color you want. Now these are just momentary switches, which means you press it and it releases. It doesn't stay on. So it's just momentary. Momentary, you get the idea? It's just two pins, that's it. Very easy. Get whatever size you want. There's bigger ones, smaller ones. I'm going to show you how to put it into the bike. So all you're going to need, let's say we go with the red one. Garage door opener. New or old. Uh, momentary switch. Two pieces of wire. Any wire will do. That's all you need. Oh, a soldering gun. You don't, even, you don't even have to be good at soldering. But basically... Let's go uh, put this together real quick, and then I'm going to show you how to put it onto the bike. It's going to be a fast video. I'll save you a few bucks. Very easy to do. Let's check it out. Okay, what you're going to need also is a precision is a precision screwdriver. You can buy a set for like 10 bucks if you don't have one. It comes with all these cool little bits. If you don't have one laying around, so you can go buy a small screwdriver. It might work. So what you're going to do is... Take your controller, pops right open, and here you have the circuit board. <clears throat> okay, now the circuit board, you got the battery, and you got your two switches, which line up here, right? So one switch opens the door, one switch doesn't, or however you have it programmed. So you got to figure out which door, which set opens the door, and then you're going to basically do that. So, test it out real quick. We know it's not that one. So let's try that one. Oops. Okay. That one. Okay. So I know this one opens the door. <clears throat> so if that's the one that opens the door, just turn it over. And let's test this out. So take your two wires. Doesn't matter which one goes in which, you're going to feed it through these little screws, these little side thing here. Now, pretty much all these momentary switches are the same, but I just want to loosen it up a little bit so you can get it in there. Oops. Stupid camera. And that's open. You're just going to stick the wire through. Twist it to the right. Put that through. Tighten it down. Take the other one. Do the same thing. And stick it through. And guess what? We're going to tighten it down. And now that both of these are tight, that's what you have basically the switch and these two. I'm going to trim these down afterwards. But let's just test it out first. Okay. No, that is this one, the right one, on this particular model in my garage. So if it's the right one, we have to find, there's basically four contacts. We gotta find the right two. It's a little tricky to do with one person, just so you can hold the button at the same time. So if we know those are the right ones, just touch these to this. When you hit the button, you should see the light come on. Simple as that. Let me do it again because I didn't get it good in the camera. 
It's going to be these top two. Just touch it to both. Ah, I should have quit while I was ahead. Touch it to both. Press the button. And that's it. So we know it's the first two. Here's a little trick I just thought of. <laughs> Let's get this to the position we want it in. Right there. Hold that in place. Isn't this much easier? Why didn't I think of this? Because I haven't soldered in over 30 years, probably. But... Soldering smoke bad to inhale. Mask it for a friend. Okay, don't make fun of my soldering skills. Again, I haven't soldered in over 20 years. But, let's see if that works. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, it seems like it's on there secure. Here's the big test. If this works, we're gonna mount it on a bike. Ready? Success! That's all there is to it. Gonna, that's all there is to it. We're gonna now mount it on a bike. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Again, 20, I mean, if you don't have an extra garage remote or laying around, it's gonna cost you about 20 for a new one. Buttons are five, six bucks each on Amazon, depending on what size and color you want. And the wire, you probably use leftover wire hanging around. If you work on your bike, you probably have plenty of extra wires that you have laying around. If not, Home Depot. Or Amazon, probably cost you a dollar or two. <laughs> and you need a soldering gun, which is like another 10 bucks. So, yeah, there's a couple more pieces, but the satisfaction of doing this yourself over paying somebody else double, triple what you would normally pay to get this done, it's worth it. For those of you like me that like to be handy, hopefully this will help you out. I'm going to show you how to mount it on the bike, and we'll be done. back in so now we can mount on a bike I'm gonna use some I'm gonna use some uh, velcro okay I think I'm going to put it and I already got this for my backup camera so I could put it in the heat shield but I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right here on the side cover right around here kind of like it over there this side cover is scratched anyway so if it doesn't work I can always buy a new one so that's what I'm going for wish me luck Okay, what you're gonna need for this is a drill with a step up bit. Step up is very easy. There's different sizes. It's right between this and this one. It's cheap too if you don't have them. And basically we're gonna drill a hole in the cover. I'm gonna go right around here. First, put some painter's tape on there so you don't split it. like such okay find a spot for this Just go a little bit less at first. Obviously, it's not going to fit. So, you want to go a little bit less at first just to make sure you don't want to go too far.
Wear safety glasses. Don't be like me. Okay, that's about perfect right there. Actually, I'm gonna pop this switch in there. It's nice and flush. Probably went a little too big on that, but it's not bad. Okay, and on the back of the switch, you have that metal bracket. This one, I'm gonna put that in the back. So it cinch it up against the top. I'm gonna hook up the switch on the back, just like we did before. Let me try to get this in here. Again, doesn't matter which wire goes to which. Just gonna push it through. All good. What we need now is to mount this on here. So I'm gonna get some Velcro with double-sided tape. I'm gonna go Velcro, I guess. Hopefully, this doesn't interfere with anything. I didn't check for clearance. I looked at it real quick, but I didn't really check on this side. up on there. Okay. Yeah, let's put it on a bike, see if it works. Right, it's secure. There's the button. See if it works. Ready for the test? And you really can't see here. Okay, it's that easy. So total cost of parts, it depends on what you have around the house. If you have a soldering gun, if you have a step up bit, it's a lot cheaper, obviously. So again, the core materials, the switch, they're five, six bucks at Amazon. I'll put links to it in the description. Um, the wires should have, if not, it's a couple of bucks. And the uh, remote control, the garage remote control. You can buy a replacement one. If you ha don't have extra ones, you go to Home Depot, you can buy it on Amazon. You can get them 15, 20, $25 max. And there you go, you got a, for parts alone, you got a whole kit for like 30 bucks. So, 30 bucks or 200, you know? It's not hard to do it. And if you like to work on your bike, it's easy. So that's how you do it, it's not hard. Um, my soldering skills need work. <laughs> Maybe the next video I'll work on that. But that's it for today. Quick, easy one. Hope it helps somebody out. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. Till the next one.